Hi guys, I'm Timmy Agbaji and I'm with the biggest and the biggest food critic in Nigeria. Can I meet you? What's your name? Um, Google me bitches. That's my name. You see what? Google me bitches. I should Google you. No, not you. Them. Google me. What does it mean to be a food critic? Um, a food critic is basically a journalist who reports food. So that's like the textbook definition of food critic. Every time I watch your video, I have just one question. Okay. What gave you the audacity, the temerity, the confidence to make you think that your taste board or your tongue is good enough to know the food that is good or not? I mean, I've been to like almost all the states in Nigeria to taste their dishes. I've asked questions. You know, like I research food. So it's not just eating the food. Like I was in Ife two weeks weeks ago you know going around eating your food asking questions i've been to borno i've been to Bayosa. so i mean if you've done this you can challenge me and stuff so anybody we don't travel around now in mouth travel learning travel traveling learning about food tasting different versions of the food and many many more what do you do aside being a food critic? Um, my dad is rich. You say what? My dad is rich. What does daddy do? Who is your daddy? <laughs> Mr. Farmaki. <laughs> what does he do? He's rich, he's rich. So I have a question for you. What's the worst food you've ever tasted in Nigeria? I've tasted a lot of rubbish. Um, on those states, this is the states that are, yeah, on those states and Delta states, the fine dining was absolute rubbish. So I can't, almost, it's plenty. Almost every guy eats rubbish, so it's, I can't keep it in my head. But on those states and Delta states, standouts, because they are, what they call fine dining is, is absolute rubbish. On those states? And Delta states. And Delta states. Yes. All right, thank God. <laughs> Currently or recently, Lagos State banned um, food containers. You know that Fuke Fuke that we used to eat food? That's yes. take away something. Not Fuke Fuke. Um, I think. Not Fuke Fuke, sir. What's it called? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. So, aside that stuff, yeah. what else should Nigerians be scared of concerning food in Nigeria? Um, The oils that they use in frying this street food, like, is recycled oil. But there are plenty of things. I think the oil, some of the spices, they are very, very unhealthy. The kitchen conditions in some restaurants is almost low key, man. The things we're eating are killing us. So even some of the things that call fit farm food is killing us. But there's a lot of those, those few come to mind. Aside being a food critic, mm -hmm. what else do you think people would have known you for? Journalism, I was doing that for a short while. I was blowing in the journalism space and I switched to advertising. And so, yeah, if I wasn't doing this, I'd have either been a journalist or been a popular person in advertising like i had some adverts on billboards and stuff like that what do you have to tell people that are aspiring to be food critics like you in nigeria um uh, don't listen to me man i'm not anybody's role model do what you want to do don't don't do what like it's not me you go ask somebody else not me man so that don't ask your question me said i don't know nobody told me any i don't know man i don't know do you have any shady thing about you that i've done in the past that if the internet gets to know about they may shame me for yeah, you Nothing. As Nigeria deal like this, how do you think Nigerian government can influence positively the food industry? First of all, if tourism is booming in Nigeria, food tourism would positively impact Nigerian food. So I think they should just things have to be safe. They've, they've sold Nigeria's pants. Let, let's move on. They've sold Nigeria's pants. I always say that it's not a cause, and I pray that I am wrong. But I always say all of us will live long, but in our lifetime, we might not see Nigeria be the Nigeria we want. And I am genuinely praying that what I'm saying is rubbish. What food have you tasted or you have read about that you think that everybody should eat before they kick pocket? Fisherman soup and potakot. Potakot fisherman soup. Maybe they chop and man die. No, like poison you or eat no, before, no, no, you no, before you die. Before you die. PH fisherman soup, 100%. For Nigerian food though, yes. PH fisherman soup is to me the best soup in Nigeria. The most overrated soup in Nigeria is our soup. The most overrated swallow in Nigeria that should be banned. Nigeria, okay, now, if they will ban things in Nigeria, ban this and that, what's it called again? Starch. Ban that. Yeah. The ban starch. Our soup is, is good, but the noise, you guys calm down. I think my will calm down. It's not that awesome. Fisherman soup. From Potakot, and I'm a Yoruba person. Because they say tribalism, I'm Yoruba. And the best soup to me is fisherman soup from Potakot. Has anybody paid you mm -hmm. to review food before? No, no, no. So if maybe, oh, like if you own a restaurant, now you say, okay, Alpha, I own a restaurant, oh, and I need numbers, you can pay me to come. And I'll be like, hello, guys, there's a new restaurant in Lekki. This restaurant, they sell this, 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 this food. If you live in the area, you can try it out. So that's not a review. Is there any food that you think that Nigerians know how to make better than anybody in the world? Nigerian food? Uh, 
Yes. Um, yeah. Nigerian food. Who else is making Nigerian food better than us? Cuisine. Like jollof rice. Jollof that we don't own, that is owned by Senegal, that is made best by them. But because most Nigerians don't annoy me, every Nigerian that says Nigeria has the best jollof rice, they've only eaten Nigerian rice. How would you know that other people's rice is not as good as your rice? I've eaten Senegalese, I've eaten Benin Republic, rubbish jollof rice, by the way. Senegalese, Benin Republic, Gambia, and Ghana, I've eaten it. So I can say we don't have the best. But you watching it, you've only eaten Nigerian jollof rice. Ah, Nigeria has the best jollof rice. Ask the question. Ask the question. Which jollof rice is the best? Is Senegalese jollof rice and Gambian. But if something is good, I would say it's good. I can't it's lie. Okay. It's I can't right. lie. Right. Is there any woman or mm-hmm. female mm-hmm. content creator, influencer, or person that we all know mm-hmm. that you have dated, had a crush on, or you yeah. hope to date? First of all, I will never date an influencer. Don't ever date influencers privacy so i will never date an influencer what food advice you have for people that are trying to gain weight or lose weight what should they eat mm, for those who want to gain weight i eat a lot of food for those who want to lose weight i don't know maybe gym but for food to eat or add weight i don't eat a lot i guess eat a lot i guess yes Just a lot quality food because gary not make you add weight so what quality food do you eat i eat what i want to but in moderation but i'm still big champ. do you have any question you like to address or anything you like to say to people about your brand or your reception so far before you go? No, nah, Google me. Yeah, that's all. If I Google you and I don't find you, what will happen? Type biggest food critic in Nigeria. First time pages is me, so like Google me. I said what I said. You went to pay for it? <laughs> me. Hey, bro, if you think, if there's evidence that is paid, call me out. In the comment section, if I paid you for any call me out, type it in the comment section. Amy. Pick one between the two of this I want to take, give you and be a friend. Very dark man or Bob Risky. For what reason? For what? To Friendship. Be, to be my friend. Yes, or your guy. Very dark man, actually. So I don't f with him like that. But I don't decide. So, so he says, out of 10 things he says, eight makes sense. Then two are like, what is he saying? So it's those two rubbish that he says that blows. But if you watch all his videos, it can make sense to some people. But it's those two. The last thing he said, I got him into this in prison. I don't agree with the things he said. I'm like, guy, calm down. Don't do that. So I'm not a fan, but I don't hate him. I'm like you guys that, that hate for no reason. I don't hate him, but I'm indifferent about him. What? I used to like Bob Risky, but he bullied James Brown. And I don't like bullies. I don't like bullying. What university did you go to? The, the best university in Nigeria. What's the Real name smart. of the university? The best university in Nigeria. Just tell me. Just tell me. Eh? Just tell me. Unilag now. I feel bad for you. Wait, wait, wait. I went to Harvard. And we had a campus in Unilag. So that was the branch I went It's okay. To. You went to Harvard, campus in Unilag. <laughs> nice to meet you, Okoye Mifamaki. See you at the top. They want me fat guys. They want me fat guys. Jesus Christ.